What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to talk about how you QBs can throw a much tighter spiral. All right, guys, so I think the most important aspect of throwing a spiral for quarterbacks is this wrist flick, okay? So I see a lot of guys, first of all, let's talk about the grip. So the grip, obviously, you guys should probably know this, there should be a gap in between your palm and the ball. If you got your palm all on this ball and you throw, you're gonna be pushing this thing and the ball's gonna come here or you're gonna end up curving it and the ball will go here, okay? You gotta have this grip. We should be playing in the fingertips, guys. We should be working in these fingertips. Now, let's talk about what we do when we release this ball. So, our index finger is our spiral finger. So this ball should be rolling off. The last finger to touch it is the index finger because when it rolls off of our hand and we create this wrist flick, then the ball's gonna get this nice spin coming down for us, okay? Now, if we're here and we let it roll off our middle, like our middle finger or this finger, our ring finger, and we come here, that's not creating the right flight path for the ball to get that spiral angle. Now, let's talk about our wrist. So, a lot of guys will come here and they'll push it, okay? I don't wanna push this thing, I wanna flick. It's almost like I'm playing basketball and I'm shooting a free throw. It's the same idea, we wanna flick this wrist, but we want this thumb parallel to the ground and then rotate through. Everybody likes money, pretend like there's money in this back pocket and we gotta pull this money out of the back pocket. Okay, so we wanna be here, let it roll off of our index finger, roll off, and then we're creating this wrist flick right at our target with our index pa facing parallel to the ground. Okay, index finger, thumb parallel to the ground. All right guys, so now we're gonna talk about the second aspect of throwing a better spiral, having some more spin on the ball, okay? So that's gonna be your rotation, all right? So I see a common mistake a lot of guys will make is when they release this thing, yeah, their wrist flick is cool, but they won't rotate all the way through. They'll finish here, they'll be throwing, and then they'll sell themselves short. Now what that does is we already talked about this. We wanna rotate through, pull this money out of our back pocket. If we don't rotate all the way through, we don't get this proper wrist flick and full rotation to get the right spin on the ball, guys. We need to be here, start with the left shoulder on the target, finish with the right, get full rotation on this ball to get a better spiral. All right, guys, so now I wanna talk about a couple common mistakes that quarterbacks will make when they're trying to throw this thing and the ball won't be spinning on them, okay? So we already touched on a few of them. The first one is that your palm is on this ball and you're pushing it, okay? We don't wanna push this thing, guys. We wanna get our fingertips on this ball and then flick our wrist right at the target, okay? We wanna flick this wrist right at the target with our index or with our thumb parallel to the ground. A lot of guys will just come here and they'll flick down like this. That's not what we want, guys. Again, that's pushing this ball. We're pushing this thing down, and that's where we're gonna get this on the ball when it's gonna wobble up and down. Anytime we push this ball, guys, the ball's gonna come here. You should be able to know what your ball looks like when you release it, what you did wrong. If it's going this way, that means you curved your wrist and you threw it like this. If we curve our wrist, the ball's gonna be here, okay? It's not a curve ball. We gotta be able to be here, rolling off this index finger, flick this wrist, Pull the money out of the back pocket, get this full rotation on the ball, okay? Full rotation on the ball always. Now, another common mistake is guys will be here and their elbow will be on their rib cage, okay? You can't get any spin because you can't snap down aggressively. You can't cut the target when you're throwing with your elbow on your rib cage. So the guys will be down here and they'll be pushing it, okay? We want to get our elbow off this rib cage snapping up here so we can get this snap down and we can cut the target to get this thing to rotate on us guys okay so we want to be in the fingertips we want to get this elbow off our rib cage and we don't want to push we don't want to curve we want to snap down at the top cut the target all right i really want to thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it please like and subscribe to this channel and please leave in the comments any questions you guys have on anything quarterback receiver speed and agility anything football related i really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you next time